Well, hi everyone, and a warm welcome back to the channel. We're off on our travels again, not too far away this time, Helen. Just a local site up the road, Ludham, and it's a caravan and motorhome club site. Yes, they call it the Norfolk Broads yeah. site, and uh, we've never been there, although it's very local to us. So if you were visiting yeah. Norfolk and you were going to come to this site, what's yeah. the attractions for you? Um, we're going to go... The Norfolk Broads, they are absolutely beautiful. So yeah. we're going to go and show you a bit of that today as well. Yeah, we do. we'll go to... I want to go to Horning, because that's just up the road from Ludham, almost the next village along, and it's a quaint little village, so we'll show you around there. Uh, if we're going to go to Horning, we might as well go to Wroxham as well, mm -hmm. because that's pretty much the centre of the Norfolk Broads. It's got so much to offer. Uh, so, we'll get on our road, we'll show you the route into the site, we'll show you around the site, and we'll have a little trip to Horning and mm -hmm. Wroxham as well. See you when we get there. Enjoy the video. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright at the Norfolk Broad site, but you still can't get on until one o'clock and what they do, as you can see, they put these police cones out. So there's just no way to get on the site until one o'clock. Lovely site this though, love it. There's reception on the left. The grounds are lovely here, aren't they? Really nice. Got a giant uh, Connect Four. Lovely windmill there, look. The wardens have worked really hard to keep this place looking good. And a really good friendly welcome you get here as well. Very good. Now, how do you pronounce it? Is it boule, bowls, bowls? I don't know. I really don't know how you pronounce it, but you can uh, 
certainly go and get some equipment and have a game. Very relaxing. Boule, boules, bowls, bowls. Sets can be bottled from reception. And look, they've got some herbs here as well in the herb garden, which is lovely. Children's playground. Savannah liked coming on here. She loved it. Hi. <laughs> I just want to show you the dog walk here because it's brilliant. As dog walks go, it's not bad at all. It's quite long. It's a long sort of narrow run. So we bring Bella down here. She's out with Helen at the moment. Uh, let me just say a quick hi to Martin, who I've just been chatting to. He's uh, currently uh, on his holes here at the Norfolk Broad site at Ludham. And, um, and he was just telling me that he's off to, of all places, Mildenhall soon. So he's watched our videos in the past and he loves planes. So him and his wife are off to um, stay at the Willows at RAF Mildenhall. Had a good chat with him. So, uh, hi Martin, thanks for watching the channel. Really do appreciate it. So we're pitched down there somewhere. But uh, I won't go back to the caravan at the moment. I wanted to just, I was going to go in the toilets, but it's a bit busy and I don't like filming in toilets, as you know. But just to say, it's all looking really nice here at the moment. Um, and you can see how many pitches, well, there are. Kind of full service or otherwise. And the great place about this location is really, it's right in the heart of the Norfolk Broads. So we're going to, go to Horning now, have a bit of lunch, probably go on a boat and then we'll go to Wroxham as well, show you around Wroxham. But also you're very close to a place called Potterheim which is just a couple of miles back towards the uh, coast at Great Yarmouth and if you fancy a bit of action at Great Yarmouth then that's probably about 15-20 minutes drive probably, something like that. And Norwich is not far away either, it's all very good. Motor home service point just there. And then here's your toilets and showers, laundrette, wash up area, all in the centre of the park. Nice and easy to get to. And then more pictures over here, and that's it really. The Norfolk Broads Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Highly recommend it. So just a short walk down from the caravan site here. And then we've got um, a couple of, shops. couple of shops, yeah. We've got a fishing tackle shop, AJB Angling. Not too sure what the circus is, no, I'm not sure either. Gonna have a little look, shall we? Oh, it's old driftwood ornaments. Yeah, it's like a little bizarre, bizarre sort of place. Let's have a look. Opening hours 10 30 a.m. till 2 30 p.m. ish. There we go. Yeah, look at this bird tree, that's a bit spooky, isn't it? On the face, and the mouth open. <sighs> wow, <laughs> scary bird feeder. If that's what it is, is it a bird feeder? That looks like it. I think these are all made um, lovely, from driftwood, obviously. Do you remember we saw some horses at the side of the river? Yeah. They were all sort of made locally. I bet the same person makes these. They're really good, aren't they? Yeah, nice. Yeah. I like them. That's a busy little road. On the site, you can't really hear the traffic, to be fair. But um, there's a little cafe and a bakery, I think, as well. And a shop, let's go and have a little look. They don't sell fudge, Helen, I'm afraid. You could buy an ice cream. You could get an ice cream from here if you wanted, but I don't know if I, I will. Oh, 
my little knickknacks and gifts. Mm. Bit noisy on the bridge, isn't it? And then if you wander down here to the bridge and look right by the boats. You don't have to travel very far, Helen, do you, around here to see a boat? No. Potter Hyam, Ludham, Horning, Roxham. All part of the broad, isn't it? The network goes on for miles. It's like about 140 miles of river and broads for you to cruise on if you want to. A bit quieter on the broads around this bit. This is not the busy area. Very nice nonetheless. Well, it really is the most glorious day. Yes, yeah, so we like this site for all the reasons I've already mentioned. Really central. You're right out in the sort of peace and quiet. And although we're by this roadside, I've mentioned already, it really doesn't bother you at all. You can't really hear the road on the site. Here's the London Bridge stores. Pick up your papers, all your essentials, milk, sugar, and all that stuff. They do a takeaway tea, coffee sandwiches, and things like that. And ice cream. On a day like this, you've got to have ice cream. And there's the bus. The number 5B takes you to Norwich City Centre. It's a connect bus. Two minute walk from the site, not even. So it couldn't be better really. So this is Roxham everybody. And uh, I think they should have renamed this place Roy's. That's wherever you look. There's a Roy's shop. Roy's Toys over here, Roy's Department Store over there, Roy's Food Hall over here. <laughs> if you've been to Roxham, you'd be very familiar with this. So this is the centre of the Norfolk Broads. This is where it all happens, and I'll show you why. Oh, Helen's not here with me at the moment. There's a fudge factory. She'd go mad, she's missed it. Come on, Helen. Look what you could have had. <laughs> this is Roxham Bridge we're coming to now. Good fish and chip shops here, restaurants everywhere. Well, it's an absolute glorious day today. Everyone's out. the Hotel Roxham over there. When we used to have our boat on the Broads, we used to come down here quite a bit because we used to keep it at Coltishall, which is actually on that side of the river, over there. So we used to sail it down here because it was, uh, well, about an hour's cruise to Roxham from Coltishall. If you're hiring a boat on the Norfolk Broads, this is one of the main centres where you'll pick up your boat and lots of little Launshire boats around as well. Look at all the swans. I just want to show you down here because for a lot of years, my brother and his wife owned this business here called the Roxham Launshire. So we would very often come along and hire a boat or get one for free to be fair. Yeah, and Robert, my brother, he really ran this for quite a few years and made it a very successful business.
cracking place. Loads of bars, fish and chip shops, restaurants, cafes, all the things you'd expect. And you can't smell it folks, but all I can smell is fish and chips and they do smell really good. We need the other side. Other side. So a lovely day like this. And we've decided we're going to go down to Horning. Where it's generally a little quieter at Horning. And we're going to go on the uh, Southern Comfort, the Mississippi Cruiser. Right, so we're here in uh, Horning at the, uh, the Swan Inn. And uh, it's beautiful here. I'll let Helen do a little scan around for you. Yeah. I've got a ghost ship for a horse. And over there is the uh, Southern Comfort, which we're going to go on and we'll take you with us. So just outside the Swan Inn here. And this was built in 1897. Okay, so a nice little village green here, look, at Horning, where you can pick up an ice cream or go to the village hall. 24 hour mooring here, so a lot of the cruisers would moor here normally and do an overnight because it's free mooring. And if you want electric hookup for your boat, you can get that as well. But you can't bring your caravan on motorhome here and plug that in. Well, I say that, <laughs> I don't think you can. That's good, isn't it? The Statham Willow. Now we went in here and had a bit of breakfast with Sav. But how the weather's changed now, I can't believe it. It really is lovely. Here comes a boat. That boat's coming towards hauling from Potter Higham end of the Norfolk Broad. Got a little, little marina over here. Look at that boat over there, that's beautiful. It's a sea line. I love boats. We had a look at buying one of those. That was about uh, 80,000 second hand, but actually you get quite a lot of boats. But to buy that brand new, you're talking more like 200,000. Lovely boat though, eh? Little gift shop over here. Get your postcards, everything of the past, aren't they? Postcards, all your little knickknacks. And then what you've got just down the road here in Horning, other than the Swan Inn, which is a great food pub, there's a couple more pubs down this way. I'll point you in the direction, but I'm not gonna go down, because we're gonna go and get on the boat, but down there, and we actually we'll pass them when we go down on the, uh, on the river, on the boat, so I'll point them out to you there, but it's a couple of good food pubs down that way. And then lots of little holiday places, Airbnbs and the like. The Moorhen here is a lovely B&B. Superb. And then you've got all these little uh, sort of delis and cafes here. One thing about the sunshine, it brings the people out. It's a Sunday. And uh, it's just like everyone came out to play. Another view there over the green. Village Hall free parking. Gosh, I spotted that earlier, shouldn't I? Up there somewhere. So I'm going to head back down here. There's a lovely little boat called Serenity. Little four berth sports cruiser, very similar to what we used to have this. Mm. 
Yeah, ours was a Maxon, but uh, very similar in style. Very similar. It's positively hot now. There goes an old-fashioned cruiser. Ruby. So we're going to take a little trip on board the Southern Comfort. We're sailing at one o'clock and we're about a 45 minutes each way so about an hour and a half trip and here it is look. Now we use this boat quite a bit because we do disco parties on here for our club reunions. If you've never been on it it's worth a trip, it really is a lot of fun and uh, stick with us because we're going to show you around anyway as we take a little trip down the Norfolk Broads. Once again, welcome on board everyone. This is roughly an hour and a half too, it will take a few minutes. And for the first half of the trip I will tell you a bit about the surrounding area. I'll do my very best to try and point out some of the wildlife we may see. And we can also all have a very good look at how the other half live in some of their very expensive properties. On the return journey I'll just find some background music. Also on the return journey, if any children would like to have a go at steering this boat, you're very welcome to do so. Well, as always, if you have been, thanks for watching. We enjoyed it here, didn't we? Yeah, it was really quite pleasant. Nice little stay. And we've got some more videos coming your way from Norfolk. We've got a Forest Park video, might even be next week, we'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, sandy Gulls coming up soon. Sandy Gulls, little sprint there, yeah. Yeah, a little cliff top view from Munsley in Norfolk. Uh, I'm going to slot in a video, actually. It's a little, about seven or eight minute video 
of a new product I found from Silky, which is absolutely superb. So look out for that one because the caravans never look so shiny. You and do rate that, don't you? Uh, absolutely loving the Silky products they sent me at the moment. Anyway, for now, if you have been, as I say, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. We love the comments and don't forget to hit the notification bell. All costs you nothing, but it does help the video and the channel to grow. It certainly does, yeah. Thank you. So until next time, we'll see you, see you soon. soon. Bye. Bye for now.